Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial that looks at using Adobe Flash CS6 to create animations. So what we're going to be looking at in this particular tutorial is using a ghost writing effect where we get the effect of text um, appearing on its own. So I'm only going to show you using a short word, but obviously you could do this for a whole sentence, which obviously takes longer, um, or you could use it for very short words, which doesn't really take too long. But obviously this can be quite a time consuming process. So let's insert a new file. So we'll go to new, file new, and I'll put in an action script 3.0 document. So here's my blank flash file. And what we're going to be looking at with this is that it's a frame by frame or stop motion animation. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to put in some text and I'm going to put the word hello. And again, obviously, if we select the text here and go to our properties, we can change uh, the size of the font. We can change the style and choose any font style you want. But I'm going to keep it as impact here. Um, we can also change the color if you want. So I could just do this. Let's do it a nice bright green. So what we'll do, just drag that to the center. Or if you remember, we go to window and align align to stage and distribute it to the center. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in to about 400 so I can clearly see my text. Now, this is my first keyframe, but what we've got to remember is when we're doing this particular technique is that we're supposed to do it as if it's going in reverse. So if I insert a new keyframe here by pressing F6, Actually, I've got to go back. I've just missed out a step, which is very, very important. And you'll need to do this because it won't work otherwise. So if I go to the eraser tool here, you'll see that I can try and erase some of the text, but it won't actually work. And the reason for this is, is that it's a bitmap image. Well, it's the equivalent of a bitmap image. If we look on properties, it's actually just there as text. So what we want to do is break this down into a shape or a vector. So if I do control B, you can see that it breaks up each letter individually. And if I press control B again, it's now a vector shape. So if I get the eraser tool, I can actually erase it like that this time and it will stay. So what we need to do now is insert a new keyframe in frame two, because this is a stop motion animation. So we're not tweening here. So I'll do F6 and I will delete a section of text there like that. You've got to be quite careful with this otherwise it won't look quite right. Press F6 again to insert a new keyframe and as you can see on the timeline every time I press F6 it inserts a new keyframe. So press F6 again and delete here. Press F6 again six, delete this section here. And the reason I've zoomed in is because it makes it a lot easier to be precise when you erase. So F6 for that one. So if I run the playhead over the keyframes, you can see that the text gradually appears or disappears, I should say. So if I put in this keyframe here, now what I would do is imagine if you were writing it with a pencil, you'd have to take your you'd have to have a bit of time where you would lift the pencil off the page to go on to the next letter. So we're going to insert three keyframes here. So one, two, three, and we're going to do nothing. Then on the fourth one, we can actually start erasing the rest. So if I go here and erase those, oops, you can see I've actually taken a bit off the L, the other L there. So I'll just do Control and Z to make sure I haven't got that deleted, and I'll go back here. So you can take your time with this. I'm doing this quite quickly. F6. F6 again, insert a new keyframe. And you just keep repeating this process. F6, do that in there. So what you can see now, I'm not going to do the whole word because it'll just take a bit too long but you can see that the letters are gradually disappearing. So if I press play, like just like that. So what I would say is if you don't want it to play too quickly, what you could do is take longer or add more keyframes per letter. 
so you could do say 10 keyframes per uh, 10 keyframes per letter and just erase it gradually as you're going through so what we'd need to do at the end then because obviously at the moment if i play it it's going in reverse all you would need to do is highlight those keyframes control and click or right click on the pc and we can actually go down to reverse frames so now if i press enter you see that it goes the other way and that's quite a nice little technique there to use with text and it also allows you i mean we've already got our advanced uh, skill there for six keyframes like so so it's nice there just a frame by frame animation or stop motion animation and it gives you a really nice effect so give it a go and see what results you get from it Thank you.